Hello again, friends. For my weekly word, I have an update and a thought. My update is to simply remind you that the session last week is now, and the staff are now using a set of guidelines that the session approved to help us in making decisions on in-person gatherings on the church campus, at least from the church side of things. The school is reopening at the beginning of this next week in a smaller capacity with many precautions. But we also now have a set of guidelines to follow for phased, uh, in a phased way of starting to gather again should cases improve in both Dallas County and Collin County. As cases do improve over two weeks, if they improve, then we will consider moving to phase one, which allows some small, really small groups to start meeting. And then if cases continue to improve, uh, we'll move to phase two and so on and so forth. The a copy of those guidelines is available just below this video, either in the email that you receive this on, if you got it by email, or if you're watching this directly on YouTube, it's in the description section underneath the video. So ask your prayers as we move forward together, as we continue to seek God's guidance in our caution and uh, in, our, in the steps we take. My thought. I wanted to say a word about my Uncle William, my great Uncle William, actually. He was my grandfather's younger brother. My grandfather, Andy, was the middle child. And I never knew Uncle William. They all, three of them, the three brothers, served in World War II. My grandfather was a Navy ship captain. Uh, my great uncle David also served, and Uncle William served as well. Uh, un Papa, as we called my grandfather, and Uncle David both returned from the war. Uncle William did not, so I never knew him. I sometimes wonder what it would have been like to have known Uncle William as I have heard that he was a fun person. What I do know is the gift he gave me. He gave his life so that those who followed him might have life. He gave of himself so that we might share in the life that we now have and often take for granted. So many have done that willingly. I will say that I never think of war as an option. I just don't think it is an option, though I know as well as you do that sometimes it's a necessity. And so for the first part of this week, I gave some thought to what it would have been like to have an Uncle William. And I gave thanks for the great gift that he gave to all of us. I hope you've been able to take some time and do the same. We're grateful to all those who serve and all the ways they've given to so many of us and to all of us. May God bless you all. I'll see you again soon.